along I-79, south of I-90. You probably notice hundreds of trees now gone. In fact, one of our viewers was wondering about the change. This is your story. Elena LaQuatra joins us now in the control room. She learned from PennDOT that the removal of these trees is in the interest of safety. Elena. Jill, that's right. PennDOT is saying they know this is going to be a big change aesthetically for motorists who are used to an abundance of tall trees in that area. Now it is completely bare. Don Seacrest makes the drive from Edinburgh to Mill Creek Monday through Friday, traveling on Interstate 79. Last week, noticing a major change along her route, specifically between the Kearsarge and McCain exits. Hundreds of tall trees acting as a divider between the northbound and southbound lanes cut down. My first thought was, what's going to happen in the winter? Because that area, I mean, at least for me, is pretty treacherous in the winter, especially near I-90 and taking down the trees was kind of worrisome. Though Seacrest believes the removal of the trees poses a safety concern for motorists during the winter months, PennDOT says leaving the trees up is actually more dangerous. Their removal is part of PennDOT's safety improvements to the interstate system. PennDOT saying over 60% of fatal accidents in the state of Pennsylvania are single vehicle run off the road accidents. 30% of those involve a vehicle striking a tree, resulting in many fatalities each year. PennDOT crews are working to improve the clear zone or the immediate adjacent area to the roadside. It's very uncontrollable. It can be a violent in nature as you traverse down the embankment into the median. Uh, so not being able to steer and things like that, if you have to also try to dodge trees, it's just that increased rate of risk. Giving drivers the ability to come to a slow, gradual stop if they happen to leave the roadway rather than slamming into a fixed object at a high rate of speed. And PennDOT is also adding that there's no concern of the cars completely crossing over that median into oncoming traffic just because of how wide that median is between the north and southbound lanes. Joe. Okay, we'll see. Ellen and LaQuatra, thank you. If you have a story you'd like us to look into, email us or contact us through Facebook or Twitter.